In this video, I'm going to tell you about the secret tool that instantly transformed my playing from this to this. My name is Josh Gu, and after years of studying the clarinet with some of the best teachers from around the world, I am excited to be sharing my knowledge with you. So go to quickstartclarinet.com or check the description on this video to see all of the wonderful resources I have to help you reach your clarinet dreams. And of course, subscribe to this channel for weekly clarinet and music tips and tricks. All right, so let me start with this demo of the Breath Builder, which is a really neat tool, helps to work on air support and just magically makes a difference in the sound quality. So let me demonstrate, I haven't used the Breath Builder at all. I haven't really warmed up at all. So I'm just gonna play a little bit so you can sort of get a feel for how I sound right now. So that's no breath builder. Now I'm gonna use it just to sort of demonstrate and then I'll explain how to actually use it. Now I'll play. So hopefully you can hear the difference. It's it's really like night and day, like magic. You play, you use the breath builder, and then all of a sudden you sound great. Unfortunately, it doesn't last forever and you have to sort of keep coming back to this, but eventually you do build up some muscle memory and it increases your air support and all that good stuff over time. So let me start by just explaining the basics of how to use this thing and, and how to get the most out of it. I'm also gonna give you some fun uh, exercises that work really well with this exercise as well. So the breath builder is very simple. You have the little tube, you suck through it, it pulls the ball up, you blow it, it keeps the ball up. Um, a couple basics for clarinet users in particular, because this is intended for all wind instruments. Uh, there's, it comes with two straw sizes, so this is the smaller one. The bigger one goes over this hole, the smaller one goes in the hole, so we want to be using the smaller one for your smaller wind instruments, like your clarinet, flute, oboe, those, those smaller ones. Uh, things like low brass, um, maybe the bigger saxophones would use the, the bigger one. The other important thing is to tape off the biggest and the smallest hole, so just the middle hole is open and air is coming through there. If you have all the holes open, it makes it a lot more difficult. And this is like sort of the clarinet configuration. Uh, flute and oboe might just leave the small hole, actually flute might leave the big hole open because they're using more air. Tubas would leave the big hole open oboes and much less air would leave the little hole open. Saxophones are probably kind of similar to clarinet. Um, you can play with that configuration a bit to see what feels right for you. Uh, clarinetists, this is the one to go with. Now, the most basic exercise to do with this is to just inhale and then exhale. An important rule is we always want to start and end with an inhale, because I think that's actually where you get more out of this, is feeling the air coming in and really filling up all of the way. And blowing out is helpful to sort of keep the ball up with the, the air support, that's great, but it's really the filling up that I think does the most work. Also, you wanna end on an inhale to memorize what that feels like, and also it sucks out all the condensation so that you don't get mold growing in here, which is not good. <laughs> so uh, starting with just the very basic, it's just long tones, in, out, in, out. A couple tips for doing this is one, make sure that you're sucking in all a full lungs worth of air. We don't wanna just do 
okay, I'm, I'm full enough, I got a little bit of air in. We want to be nice and relaxed and really fill up the entire lung capacity. This sort of slows down the air coming in and, and makes you a little bit more aware. So I feel like I can fill up more of my lungs when I use the breath builder and take a good inhale through it. Another tip is we don't want the ball to drop and we want the ball to actually fall as little as possible when we switch from inhaling to exhaling. So we get good sort of flow and cycle of in, out, in. Notice how little the ball drops when I uh, exhale. And the faster you can get that change of direction to happen, the better your air support will be and the quicker you'll be able to take good breaths. So that's the basic exercise to do on this. And you can literally just do that with long tones, play long tones, do that, go back to your long tones, and it'll be a night and day difference. Now one of my favorite uses for this is articulation. So I was just using it a lot, so I'm probably in pretty good shape, but I'm going to take like high G, which is one of those finicky notes. I'm gonna to try to do some uh, staccato articulation on it and see what results I get. So not bad, maybe a little bit of, of thuddiness. Again, I'm not warmed up. I don't know what this read is like, um, but let's try now doing the same kind of articulation on this. And again, we're always gonna start with our nice long, full lung inhale. And then I'm gonna articulate exactly the same way with the goal of keeping the ball up. Of course, if you're doing staccato and have more space, then it's going to drop more. Um, but I'm going to try to keep it up as much as I can and have enough support behind the staccato that it comes back up even if it falls down. So you can see when it dropped all the way down with the staccato, it came right back up when I released. Now I'm going to try that on the clarinet. I'm also going to do some legato on the clarinet because that definitely works better for legato on the breath builder too. So there were maybe a little bit of squeaks, but I think that was an embouchure read thing a bit more. There weren't any thuds, which I think was because the breath builder was helping to have that really good support, that kind of support where the air or the ball comes right back up because there's so much air support, even on the staccato. Now, another use of the breath builder that I love is just doing the music. Um, let's say we have just a little bit of the, the Rose Etude, I believe it's number four out of the 32. I'm just gonna do that much, so that's sort of my bass line. Now I'm gonna do exactly that same pattern and think that on the Breath Builder. Now playing it. It's just like magic, it makes everything better. The other thing that you can do with the Breath Builder that's kind of fun is you can actually hold it in your teeth and then finger along with the music as well, so. And again, always ending with that good long inhale. And it just makes it so much better. So that's my basics of how to use the Breath Builder and some more advanced or more interesting exercises. I've definitely done it before where I've done a good chunk of an etude just holding this and fingering along. 
one other tip uh, when you're using the breath builder when you're exhaling you run out of air a lot more quickly but you can actually still sort of be going through your music and inhaling it's also okay to just stop but say I was doing uh, I'll do just that first little bit of that rose etude on repeat and show you how I can still keep the articulation going and still keep everything going inhaling and exhaling <laughs> So you can really work your way through a whole etude working just like that, inhaling, exhaling. Be careful that you don't pass out. It's okay to take a breath. It's good to sort of sigh after that big exhale at the end, relax a little bit, breathe normally a little bit so yeah, you don't pass out. But it's a fantastic exercise. Play a little bit, do it on the breath builder, play like magic. Everything's going to be better because your air support is going better and supporting. So that's my little tutorial for the Breath Builder. I hope that you find it helpful and I'm excited if you get this to see how it helps you out if you already have it. Hopefully now this gives you some insight on how to use it properly. I wish you the best of luck on your clarinet journey. Thanks so much for watching this video. I'm going to do some more fun air exercises next week so subscribe if you want more of this good sort of just magic air fixing stuff. Uh, but thanks for watching. And I look forward to seeing you in another video.